So you wanna make a snowball? <coughs> <coughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Spike Kai. I'm Kai, and we're uh, uh, <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Kai. Today, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I messed the whole thing up, but we're gonna keep going anyway. Um, we're back once again with another tutorial. This one, how to make a, a, a snowball, kind of. I, I I really thought this was like a this is a fun little cute, simple, very simple, like super detailed. I don't like doing super detailed ones, you know. I really like doing really nice and simple tutorials. Uh, so anyone can follow them, and you can always build and expand on it later on uh, if you want to add something yourself. It's not so uh, detailed that you feel like you can't really change it around or something will break. But I like this quite a bit. Very simple uh, tutorial today. So I made a little bit, a little bit of a snowball kind of thing here. I think it looks pretty good. We're going to go ahead and just move this over hitting G. I'm going to move that over there for now. Uh, and I'm going to hit Shift D. And we're going to add in a UV sphere. I'm also going to get rid of this. Now, real quick, just to open that back up, you just put your cursor on the top left-hand side of the screen. And then just drag open. Split that into two. And then just change this right here to the shader editor. Boom. Now we're back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, go to the material tab. That's at the modifiers tab, sorry. And add in a modifier of subdivision surface. And also uh, object shade smooth so now it's smooth and nice i'm gonna make sure that these levels i had these on three i believe but um for now we're just gonna do two so it's not super laggy um i'm gonna go ahead and hit add modifier once again and add in displacement hit new on that and then go to the texture tab here and then hit uh changes from image and movie to clouds now you can see this is what we got this does not this is a very painful snowball if you got hit with this i'm just gonna put that out there um, you don't want to get one of those, you'll be put in the ICU. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go back to the modifiers tab and turn the strength to 0.1. Instead, it looks much better, obviously. That, we're done. Congratulations, you made a snowball. I'm joking. Um, this actually looks pretty good by itself, actually. This could be a very nice, cartoony, regular, simple, very simple snowball. But for now, I'm going to do a little bit more for th to this. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and once again, what, did, what else did I do? I forget already. Oh, yes, that's right, the, the second subdivision surface. All right, so we're going to add in a, a second subdivision surface to kind of smooth out some of these lumps. You see, if I zoom in here, you see it's kind of eh, weird. Um, so I'm going to add modifier, and we're going to add in a subdivision surface modifier. I'm going to bump this one up to two as well. As you can see, that's looking much more smooth already. And if you put that up to three like I had on this one, I believe, then it gets even more detailed, which is the thing I love about this, which it just looks a lot better. I believe I had yeah, three and two on that one as well. Um, so you can see it just looks a lot better than you know that obviously so the more you bump this up the more detail you're going to get from it but keep in mind you don't want to do this too much for two reasons number one it's going to cause your system to be extremely uh slow um depending on the system that you have um and it'll be worse depending on the system that you have and two a bunch of detail doesn't always look make it look better sometimes it looks overly detailed or just too much um, so you don't want to, you don't want to over detail it. So I'm gonna leave it on three for now. We'll leave it like that. It looks pretty good to me. It looks very nice and rough. Like you packed it into a snowball. I like that quite a bit. Now, next thing I want to do is go ahead and go and add in that material back. So the material is very simple. So I'm just going to material tab. If you were adding a new one, you hit new right there, but I'm going to break it down for you. Um, so pretend I just hit new, but in actuality, I did some more stuff to it. So, um, this is the material that I have here, which I quite enjoy, uh, um, there's a couple of things that I want to talk about first off. So when you have a default material, the default is going to just show up like, going to just show up like this, right? It's going to show up just like this. And uh, the thing is, I have a little bit of subsurf on this, so it should be all the way down to zero like that. But I'm going to put this up to like point, uh, point two five or just point two in general. I'm going to do less than one point one two. Let's do point. Let's just do point one. What's point one look like? Point one looks fine. Who cares? We'll do it on point one. Um, and then the specular is literally all the way down. So we get that nice little glisten on there. As you can see, we have that specular. All, I'm sorry. The specular is all the way up. The roughness is all the way down. So we get that nice little glisten on there instead of it being like that. Because the balls do not look like that, obviously. Um, looks like a, that's a, that, ooh, this looks like a, um, a spitball. That's pretty gross. All right. We're going to just turn the roughness all the way down. And you get that nice little sparkle on there. As you can see, the little the little shine pieces, like the snow is reflect, refracting some light, which is nice. Um, specular all the way up. Specular tint all the way up. doesn't really matter. You can't really see it too much anyway. So we'll just turn it all the way up. Uh, sheen, sheen tint, and clear coat all the way up as well. Clear coat roughness all the way down. Uh, this doesn't help too much, but it's a very, very, very subtle um, difference. Um, so what we're going to do is after that, after we have all that set, the subsurf that we have on here, we're going to change these values to be 1, 1, 2. 
as you can see that gives us a nice little blue color rather than 111 which i believe is the default or actually no it's not 111 it's, it's like 1.4 or something it's something weird like that um we're gonna put this back on one point one sorry all right there we go so this is our nice uh, material we have a little bit of blue in there as you can see that's what this color right here is doing adding a little bit of blue so the back on two a little bit of blue and now what we're going to do after that is i'm going to go ahead and go move this up and then we're going to hit shift a and we're going to add in a math yes math not multiply math um node and then we're going to change this from add to multiply a lot of people get people a lot of people get confused because instead of it saying noise texture like this in the search menu it says um math and this is the math node it just says multiply up here it's very strange why this changes up here but it does um so we're going to go ahead and move this up here and I'm going to connect this value to the displacement so we can add two different things together. Um, we're using multiply because it just makes it look better. As you can see, this does not look good right now. It looks kind of weird. Um, so we're going to go ahead and actually add some things in here. So I'm going to hit shift D and add in a noise texture. Search for a noise. And we're going to grab that noise texture and plug. I believe it was the color. It's the, it's the color, correct? Yeah. The color into the top of the multiply. That gives us that nice little, like grainy kind of noisy texture that snow has you know so without that it looks like uh looks like that with it looks like that and a nice little grain through there which looks really good um and it kind of breaks up that weird like texture that we have from whatever that is you can also try different um you also try different um operations i guess functions you want to call these whatever uh operations functions some of these are going to take longer to load, like this one, um, but some of them will look a bit different. Power doesn't do too much of a difference, but like some some of these will look a bit different, um, but it depends on the textures that you use. Um, so let's go ahead and put that back on. All right, this is what I'm talking about. This is the lag I was talking about, guys. I'm going to put this back on um, multiply because it's just a, it's a basic one. It's just basic. And I'm going I'm to plug the Musgrave texture, which is, by the way, just shift A, search, Musgrave once again uh, plug that height into the value of uh, the the multiply the bottom the bottom half there so um, as you can see if I go ahead and scale through the uh, scale of the Musgrave you can see some things changing there the smaller you make it the more it's gonna start looking weird like this you don't really you don't really want that it's not like catching light very properly it's kind of weird but uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn, turn this on to like what is, I mean let's, let's try some different values 50 looks really textury and just bad um, so I, what's it like? if, we, if we flip these sometimes, it might do a couple of different things that we want as well. But these two uh, textures probably won't give us too much of a big difference. Um, yeah, it's going to be practically the same thing because um, we're not we're not adding it with with other uh, materials. So typically, if we were to go ahead and add this multiply with other materials underneath, like if we were to sh duplicate this and put that there and then add another material, like another noise, we might be able to get some different uh, types of values, uh, types of looks, sorry, uh, aside from that textury Musgrave. Um, if, I think this was on like two or something. I don't even remember what the value was on, but it was on something around that. I have the detail on 16, the roughness on one for the first original noise texture and the scales on 20. The distortion is on zero. And for the Musgrave, the scales on two detail, uh, 16.9 and four. Um, so that looks good. I think, um, like I said, the, it's typically the less you do to something, the better it looks. Um, but in in situations like this, where it's like you're, we're trying to recreate s uh, somewhat of a snow-like atmosphere, I think the best thing to do is to play around with it a lot until you get a, a, a look you're really enjoying. Now, I'm really enjoying this noise, but we still have this underlying kind of uh, yuck-yuckness. So I'm going to kind of try and bump these values up, and maybe put a little bit of... Maybe put a little bit of that in there. Oh, no, backwards. Maybe put a little more dimension. Something like... Nah, that's a little bit too much. Maybe something like that? Like, 0.9 was... 0.9 is fine. And I really like the way that looks, so I don't really want to change that. Ooh, this value looks... Yeah, see, playing around with... Um, playing around with all the different values together is, is what really gets it going. So if you can't just change one of these values and put this on, like, what? Like, 16 or something and be like, oh, yeah, it looks good. Because it does not. Um, you're going <laughs> to... Really play around with a couple of these uh, together to really get a look you're going for sometimes. I think I really like three. I don't know what this is, what I had this on, but I, I like three on that. Um, looks pretty good. Looks kind of looks packed together. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for today's tutorial. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. That's a couple of things you can do with some snowballs there. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.